Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with another stash dive video and this one is going to complete my Studio Calico kits completely and I'm actually going to have another video, um, like a face-to-face -face video talking about that. But this is the last one. Um, and I started this layout and then my camera wasn't on and I don't know why because I no, I hit record, so my camera's been acting up lately. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, all I did was I cut down the um, large background paper and put it onto some black cardstock, and that's really all that you missed. And then I also matted my picture onto some craft cardstock, but so you didn't miss much. I'm luckily I caught it really quick. Um, but all of these papers are from Studio Calico, and I just used um, a couple of scraps. I have that gray box scrap there that I'm using, and then the large green as well. So um, I'm really kind of just all over the place with this one, and this one only took me about 20 minutes to do, but it took me a, more time than anything to figure out what I was going to use, basically. Um, I don't know, nothing in the kit was really motivating me as far as this one goes. But um, all these papers are definitely from the kit, and then the title in those wood veneer are from the kit as well. And um, I think that's it. I think everything else I just pull from my stash, just kind of things that are sitting on my desk that kind of grab my attention. So this picture is of me and my husband and my two girls, and we were at Fud Puckers in Destin, Florida. And that is where I am from. My family's from Niceville. And um, we went back this past Christmas to spend the holidays with my family. And so while we were there, we went over to Destin, which is probably like a 30 minute drive for us, maybe um, just over the bridge. And we went to Fud Puckers, which is a really big touristy type of place um, there right on Highway 98. And my brother-in-law um, is a manager there. He's worked there for a really long time. And um, he... When we went out there to go see him, um, he said, do you guys want to go down to Gator Beach and take a picture with Alligator? And we were like, yeah, because they have um, an alligator section there at the restaurant that you can look at them, and then you can also take pictures with them and stuff. And so he uh, got us in there and let us take a picture with a gator. So the girls were holding the tail, Josh has the head, and I'm behind going, I don't want to touch it, I'm good. So <laughs> um, it was pretty cool. So... I used those wood veneer letters to spell out Gator Beach Fud Puckers in 2015. Those came from the kit. And then I used a rub-on with a, a geotag um, that actually is from Studio Calico. It just didn't come in this particular kit. And then I have these puppy hearts from Twine and Ink that I'm using. And then I used a couple little word tiles that are in gray from Amy Tangerine. Um, I pulled that out because I knew there's a green flower in there, but I don't, I don't like it. So... <laughs> And I'm trying to like those things. I just don't. Every time I pull them out, I'm like, nope. So I just need to get over that. Um, and then I also have a fabric sticker from Amy Tangerine that has a green globe on it. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling onto this paper that is already lined. So it's nice to just write my journaling out. And um, I kind of hit a spot and I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what else I want to do. And then I'm like, die cuts. That's usually my go-to. Like if I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do, I pull out some die cuts. And that's what I did. I pulled this out and then I'm pulling things that are green. I'm like, oh, okay, this works. There's a pink heart. I can pull in some more pink since I have that paper there. Um, so that's definitely what's happening right here. There's a little map circle. I find this little airplane because we did have to fly to get home. And I have that home one as well. So that this really helped just going through this thing and pulling out a few of these circle die cuts and um, it was just there you go <laughs> and that's what finished it off for me and this is actually going to be it um, I kept this one pretty simple that green paper is really busy so I didn't want to like overcrowd anything or do anything like that but uh, nice and simple and my studio calico kits are done so I'm going to be back really soon with kind of a face-to-face -face video about my studio calico kits and my thoughts on all this and I will talk to you guys again then. Hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.